Sibugay, Tungawan Sambuanga, Sibugay. This area is the roosting place of two species of flying bats. One is the vampiros and the other portion over there, the roosting site of Jubatus. Before, we monitor. Last month, we monitored the vampiros roasted in this area, last June 2016. But last month, June, there were 50, more or less 50,000 bats, including the young, that roasted in this area. But now, the place is empty. No one, even a single vampiros that can found flying in this area. Only the Jupatos, which is very far, it can be seen by our naked eyes. So, what's the reason why this place is so empty with bump vampiros? Maybe they feel that the trees are dying and they transfer to other area for roasting sites. And they will come back when they feel that the trees will recover. And that is further investigation. It needs further study. Generally, there are two kinds of bats. The fruit bats. And the insect bats. Here in Ulutanga, the fruit bats rose near the cave entrance of the, to the twilight zone. While the insect bats occupy the inner portion of the cave. Larger fruit bats are called flying foxes. In Payao, Sambuanga, Sibugay, there was a roosting site of Teropus vampiros along the mangrove area. Hello, good morning. We are now here in Gabot Island, Barangay Bato, Municipality of CI. This is one place that we conducted monitoring, evaluation on the white left species that we have found there in this place. We monitor this place from January in which we have cited a minimal of Tirocos uh, Pampiros as part of our uh, coordination with our existing people organizations in which we are, they are part of our uh, monitoring, conservation, protection of our mangrove species and of course in the implementations of the National Greening Program uh, decided the, the, the Rocos Vampiros in this place. The Centro Kabasalan in partnership with our uh, uh, Pedro, Dante Oporto, with his staff, with the dialogue, with the partnerships of our uh, existing POs, the local government officials, and of course the, the municipal level of CI, this uh, robot island as the satellite roasting place site of the Ropos Vampiros which uh, makikita natin na nasa taas sa mga, sa mga pagat pa. Shhh! There's Asidirun Jibatus. Let's confirm if, if it's really the Asidirun Jibatus. Yes! It's Asidirun Jibatus. The second site here in Sambuanga Peninsula, Sambuanga Sibugay in Batu CI. This is a CBFM area and we found the 11 site entire Philippines, the Cedron Jubatus. Look at there. There is the Cedron Jubatus is confirmed. We are trying to map the Cedron Jubatus here in Sambuanga Sibugay. The first time that we met is in Tungawan. This is the first site that the sighting of the Jubatus in the entire Philippines, in the whole Philippines. So this is the second time that we spotted the Jubatus here in CI. So this is the second... In the mangrove area. In the mangrove area. Ah, yes. No. So what can you suggest in order for this Jubatus and other flying packs that thrive in these mangroves to be protected? 
by not only the DNR or not only the local government but for everybody. This is actually a wonderful news when I heard about that the Jubatos are the golden crowned flying fox, an endemic species of flying fox found only in the Philippines. It's found here in a in an CI, I, mangrove. In, CI, in yeah. a mangrove area. And this is, I understand, a plantation. Yes, it's a, a mixed plantation of pagat pat as well as the bakawan. And this, uh, that these pats are not originally uh, part of this ecosystem? Yes, this is only this year only. This year only? Uh, yeah. In what month did it settle? It started the month February. In the month of February. And then it's, uh, it's questionable only. Not like this, that is stayed from June to October. It's five months mm. already. It's permanently staying on this island. Permanently staying on this island. So this is what we probably uh, would be a good model uh, for many uh, community-based uh, forest management agreements. And this is, I understand, one of the CBFMA uh, that Sambonga Sibugay has also supported. Because the three plantations or the mangrove plantations that you have established here, this is a 30-year-old uh, growth. It's already providing a safe habitat for this uh, threatened species. So you have two species of flying foxes, and both of them are dependent on forest areas and even these mangrove stands uh, for for their roosting sites. I think the best way to do uh, to do conservation work here is to keep the mangroves. Keep it, the mangroves. Keep the mangroves, and then do not do a lot of disturbance inside the roost. The bats seem to be uh, not afraid of people, so there appears to be like no hunting or no not much disturbance happening, which is good because the bats uh, that are not disturbed will tend to be dedicated to their roost. They come back to their roost if they are not disturbed and they feel safe uh, in their roost. So they go out at night to feed into the forest, uh, feed into the fruits of the forest and then come back here every day or early morning and to stay here to feel safe, to take a rest and also to, to breed. This is where they breed. And uh, you can see earlier there were juveniles that were left hanging on the branches uh, along with their parents. Yes. And this is, the mangroves provide also a temporary habitat where these little ones can practice to fly where they can also start feeding and the mom can actually teach them or the parents can actually teach them how to hunt food or how to look for food or especially how to uh, to live on their own so this would be a very important habitat for these two species of flying foxes wonderful wonderful ones thank you madam lisa <laughs>
The golden crowned flying fox, from its name, has a golden patch on its head that forms a distinctive triangular patch of light yellow or gold contrasting with its dark brown body. And the smallest of the three is the island flying fox. The most distinctive feature of this species is its smaller size and a light yellow patch on its belly. Flying foxes need tall trees to live. They stay at the topmost branches that offers them 360 degrees view of the area. This gives them an advantage and can warm others when danger comes. Bats are adapted to life hanging upside down. They have wide and large wings that covers their body when it is raining or when they want to avoid the strong light. The wings also helps them hold down by flapping them. The strong feet and long claws gives them a secure grip on the branches. Even when the winds are strong, the claws keeps the bat from falling. The claws or thumb also helps the bat from moving from one branch to another. During breeding season, male bats have enlarged scrotum and a long extended penis. When a pair of bats are ready to mate, the male stimulates the female vagina by licking it with its tongue. The female bat then turns upright before turning around while clasping herself on the hanging male. With her back from the male, the male then insert its long penis on the female vagina for a few seconds only before removing it. Once done, the male licks the female vagina before setting in a branch beside her. The penis grows back into normal size. When you read the literature, usually you can find there that the Acerodon jubatus or the golden crown flying fox usually roasted in the forest where the trees are tall. Now, the Acerodon jubatus or the golden crown flying fox, why is it that it roasted in this mangrove, particularly in the tall trees, the pagatpat trees, usually it's the tallest trees here in these surroundings are the pagatpat, why is it that the they roasted here in mangrove. They ship their habitat from the forest to the mangrove. What is in this area, the mangrove? This is the first Acerdon jubatus or the golden crown flying box that being documented that it is roasted in this wonderful mangrove of ours in Sambuanga, Sibugay. So the reason why is still stuck on my mind. That's a very big question and it's a miracle for us to discover why is it the Acer Acerodon Jubatus thrive in the mangroves. It is remain to be seen, another in-depth study to be taken strictly for the golden crown flying packs. <laughs>